Where you're at in your career now, what motivates Adam Lambert? You know, I like variety. I like things like different projects. I'm always trying to like get involved with something else, something new, because that keeps me interested and excited. Um, you know, I've been lucky enough the last couple of years now to like have my own music projects going on. I still have touring with Queen going on. I've been involved with some, you know, a film. I've done some voiceover work. I put out some nail polish a couple months ago. It's just, it's like these little side projects to me are sort of, um, they keep me moving and they keep me inspired. Well, let's talk about the way you touch humanity and the way you make us feel. Cause you make me feel. This is the anthem for Pride uh, London. <laughs> you perform it, did you like how I segued there? Uh, yeah, that was very, very artful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the Sylvester track, we know it. Um, Sylvester, part of the AIDS community, passed away. But, but this is the official song of London Pride. Why did you want to cover this song? You know, I've, I've always loved the song. I mean, it's iconic. Um, it, you know, when I think of disco, this is one of the first that pop into my head. Um, I started singing it uh, for some of the shows that I did last year around Halloween in Vegas. And it just, it connected really instantly with the audience. It was really fun to sing. And, we, you know, the album Hydrama came out in the spring. And I just thought, you know, can we add a song to it, um, you know, that will come out for the summer, something upbeat. I'd love to do this as a modernized version of it. You've got the new album, High Drama. It's your fifth LP. Um, I've got Can't Stand the Rain on constant repeat. <laughs> it, it's a fantastic album. It's covers. What was it about these particular songs that you chose that inspired you? You know, I, it's a mix of different things. You know, a, a lot of the artists that I'm covering are artists that I greatly admire. Um, you know, we have like Lana Del Rey and Pink and Boy George and, uh, you know, Tina Turner and Ann Peebles did the, that I Can't Stand the Rain, Bonnie Tyler, Billie Eilish. Um, there's just like a handful of really brilliant artists on there that I'm covering. And the other criteria for me in picking the songs was, are they stories that I can relate to, that I could feel that I had been through as well, um, you know, to make it real for me. And then lastly, they were songs that I picked that I felt I could do something interesting with. The point of this was not just to recreate the original. I just thought that would be a bit like, what's the point? For me, creatively, the, the appeal of this to do this project was to get into the studio with these brilliant producers and take some risks and figuring out ways to sort of reinterpret these, these songs and to make them something new. Well, they're fantastic. You certainly make us feel mighty real. Uh, Grammy-nominated international superstar Adam Lambert, thank you for spending thank the you. time with me. Likewise, thank you.